Hey, it's Randy at Talano.net and what we're looking at here is the Canvas Transfer Kit. This is the instructional video on how to do transfers onto Canvas. It's really easy and it looks great, so that's what we're going to show you here in this little clip. Okay, let's just do a quick checklist to make sure you have everything you need for the Canvas Transfer Kit. You should have one canvas that's 8 by 10 one piece of Talano imaging paper, that's also 8.5 by 11.5, one foam brush, one spreader, and one jar of Talano medium. Okay, now we're ready to start on step number two, and I have my image already transferred, uh, or printed I should say, on our transfer paper, and I know I want to place it right in the center of this, this canvas, so essentially all I'm going to do is take it over the edge and it might be hard to see on the camera but when I'm standing right here in front of me I can see it's pretty square just by the shadow line that's developed around the paper as I press it around the frame of the box so I know it's the right size and I'm about ready to seal the image and seal the canvas okay now I'm ready to coat the canvas and coat my photograph so I'm going to take some of the Talano medium about a half an inch worth dipped in and just work it over the entire surface of the canvas Make sure that you get a nice liberal amount of medium over the entire surface of the canvas. That way we'll make sure when we do the transfer that we'll have very good adhesion. So that I know is good. I'll show it to you. It's a little bit wet and glossy looking. That's the way it should look. Now I'll take my Tylano imaging paper where I have the photocopy done on and I'll do the same thing. I'll coat on a nice even coat over the entire surface of the paper. But I just go over it once or twice just the way I did there. I don't want to overwork the image because if you do that then the ink will lift. So I've done a nice even coat and this is what it looks like when it's wet. It's a bit shiny. Right? So that's what we want to do. Now we're just going to let that dry for about 20 minutes to an hour and then we'll be ready to do the transfer. Okay so now we're ready to do a transfer onto the canvas and again I'm going to do the same kind of step as I just did in step three where I put a nice even coat over the entire surface of the canvas and I want to be quite liberal with it because we want to make sure we get good adhesion in this transfer so I'm just going to coat it kind of randomly here and then I'll make sure I do a final swipe with the brush that's kind of north and south and east and west just to make sure I've got a nice even coat so that looks good to me now I'm going to take my transfer and lay it down over the surface of the canvas I know it's kind of straight because I can see the image and the border as I run my finger around. I'm just going to rub my hand. The nice thing about a canvas is it gives you a big surface to work on for an 8.5 by 11. Then I'm going to take the spreader and go from a clockwise position out to the edges. So from the center out. And I'll usually go around it twice just to make sure I got an even pull all the way around because we're trying to ooze the medium out to the edge of the canvas. This really makes for a very good transfer. And then you can just use your hand a bit to, to press down on the corners just to make sure that there's adhesion all the way around the edge. So there we go. You're transferred and now we're just going to let that dry for about three hours air dry or you can use an oven for about 15 minutes at 170 degrees. Keep an eye on it and that will dry just that much faster. Okay, so now you're ready to reveal the image off the canvas. I can tell my transfer's on there nice and tight. I'm going to take a little bit of water. Actually, not a little bit of water, probably quite a bit of water. I'm going to make sure I coat the entire surface of the back of the paper, and I can actually start to see my image, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And with the water, what it does is it pushes the ink away, and the paper comes off. So it usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds for that to kind of activate and release. And it's just kind of like a tattoo that you do on your skin. So I know I got good coverage. It's very moist on the back and that's what I want. And then you simply just pick a corner and start to peel. And just pull. And there you go. Your canvas is now has a great picture transferred onto the surface of Jack and Tiana. So that's what your transfer looks like once you put it on the canvas. There's a little bit of residue of medium on the edge here, which I'm going to just cut off with an X-Acto knife and a little bit of sandpaper. You can just rub the edge or burnish the edge to get rid of that. And then we'll seal the image and then we're done. Okay, now you're ready to finish up. You have two options here. 
one, you can actually be finished because we've done the peel, the image is transferred, and if you're looking for like a satin finish on your transfer, that's kind of what this looks like right now. So for some people, that might be your desired look. But for what I want to do is I just want to give this sort of like a little finishing touch so it looks like it's mounted behind some acrylic or some glass. So I'm going to put on another coat of medium onto the surface, and this will be the final step. So I'm going to put on a nice smooth coat of the medium here. And again, the importance here is to go north and south, east and west, because we just want to make sure you get the whole surface covered. Otherwise, there'll be a difference in sheen levels when it dries. And my final coat, I'll just go north and south, just like I'm doing right here. It makes for a nice planed surface. There we go. Now we just let that dry for a couple hours, and there you got your finished canvas transfer kit.